Hello everyone, my name is Michael Parks. I am a licensed clinical social worker at Aspire. I am also the manager of youth and family home and community-based services. So today I'm here to talk to you about childhood mental health. When we say childhood mental health, we're really talking about that zero or birth to five age. So we know that that age range, so zero to five years old, is a time for brain development in children. And so we're wanting to set them up the best way that we can. So we know a lot of things about this is your child is always looking to you for love, learning, and safety. So this is a really good time to give them a great foundation by our interactions, our words, and our behaviors. So this period is a time to lay a lot of groundwork for the rest of their lives. So we need to make sure that we're developing a warm relationship with your child and feeling them and helping them to feel safe. And so this will give them the best chance of mental health development for the future. And we'll talk about ways to do this. So for babies, we know that brain development is huge part of where a baby you know, is, is at this point in time. So a baby, when born, their brain is about a fourth the size of an adult brain. But we know that babies' brains double in size their first year of life. And then by age three, they will be 90% develop, as developed as an adult. And um, so there are a lot of things that we can do during this time to make sure that we're encouraging healthy brain development. So one of the things is just simply playing with your child. These can be very simple games like peekaboo, uh, moving the child's legs like a bicycle, using their favorite toy to encourage looking, shaking a rattle that allows your baby to hear and maybe follow that, making faces at your child to have them imitate, talking and singing to your baby, reading to your baby, and practicing tummy time. So by doing these simple activities, you are helping the brain to develop. You're starting to teach facial recognition and facial expressions and reading of facial expressions. You're working on gross motor skills with them, spatial reasoning, and a lot of other things. We know that also we have toddlers in our preschool age. So when we have toddlers and preschoolers, what we really need to be focused on is um, reading to your child and asking them what the characters in the books may be feeling and why. This doesn't need to be a special therapy book. It can be any book that you're reading to your child at that time. So we can also play games with our child. Um, and we know that games bring about a lot of emotions, um, whether it's proud because we won the game or maybe frustrated because we lost the game or, you know, maybe we're tired of the game and we've gotten bored. Um, so naming those emotions can be very powerful for your child and you also naming those emotions and practicing that with your child. So you can also make feelings based games. So feeling charades, feelings bingo, uh, acting feelings out, playing memory with feelings and having feelings cards. Um, also doing some puppet shows with feelings um, is always a great thing to teach. So ask your child to name things. So one of the things that we are asking them to name is emotions. So how are they feeling? What are emotions that others may be feeling? How does that child's face look? Does it look like they're happy? Does it look like they're sad? Um, also the feeling in books. So, you know, something happens to the main character. Is Are they happy? Are they sad? Can you tell me why? Um, so. Also, ask the child to see what you're feeling or if they can read your emotions. Um, this is very powerful because it helps to role model and helps to develop that facial recognition, identifying caregiver feelings, empathy, and learning behavior and learning caring behaviors. So we also want in the preschool, or I'm sorry, yes, the preschool age to encourage children to interact with others. We want your children to play, ask them what they have been feeling or what others have been feeling and how others people's faces could tell you that. Discuss how their actions could impact others, either positively, negatively, you know, it could be that you played with somebody who didn't have anybody to play with and that made you feel happy and, you know, friendly. So, 
This is also a time where you can start simple chores with your older child. Ask them how helping makes them feel. Ask them if they feel proud when they do something good. Um, this is also a time for the word no. So you can set limits with the word no, but you want to also give the child alternative things that they can do. So if you do say no, what can they do if they can't do what they were asking for? And then also how it can be frustrating to hear the word no and what they can do when they are frustrated. So I've given you a lot of things to do. I would like to give you some things to avoid also. So we want to avoid violent shouting or hitting in the home. And the reason we are looking to avoid these things is it causes toxic stress in the home and children really do not develop well under those toxic stress things. Uh, we want to avoid arguments in the home. Children read tension and they can react to that. And so we know that that negatively impacts their emotional regulation skills um, at that zero to five age. We want to look at not neglecting your child um, because again, they're looking to you for a lot of those role modeling behaviors as the parent. And then we also want you to take care of yourself. So we want you to be able to take a break. We want you to be able to manage your own frustration. And you may need to reach out to your support network or develop a support network for that. You know, it may take having someone watch your child for a minute or two or something of that nature so that you can, or, you know, an hour or so, so that you can really do some self-regulation, you know, or something that you enjoy. So I hope you learned something uh, during this time, and I hope that your child develops the best way that they can. Thank you.